Hi there, and welcome to this video on the Facebook Pixel. Today, I'm going to be going through how you can use the Facebook Pixel as part of your marketing strategy and how you can set it up on your Create website. But first things first, why use the Facebook Pixel? What is the Facebook Pixel? Well, as we all know, Facebook is a massive social media platform and they have around 2.6 billion monthly active users. It's no secret that they collect a lot of data on these users, such as demographic data, interests based on page likes, buying behaviors. This is all stored on their platform. But how does this connect to the Facebook Pixel, you may ask? The Facebook Pixel is a small piece of tracking code that is added to your website that allows Facebook to track the actions of your users and try to associate them with their Facebook account. This association could link a user with their interests and demographic data. This can all be used in retargeting campaigns and being able to find new audiences that would be interested in your products or services. Let's take an abandoned basket for example. If someone abandons their basket and hasn't left an email, there's no way that you can target these people with your abandoned basket email campaign. However, if you have the Facebook pixel tracking on your website, you may be able to connect a user to their Facebook account. This means that the data on this user can be stored for a later date to target them with a well-crafted advertisement attracting them back to the store to complete their purchase. There are tons of other ways that you can use the Facebook pixel to market to your audience or new audiences, but we'll cover them in another video another day. Today, let's get started with how you can set this up on your website. Setting up your Facebook pixel is actually quite simple. You'll need to head to your Facebook business manager to get started. Once there, head to the hamburger menu in the top left corner. Select events manager. Once there, you'll see all your data sources that have already been set up. For example, here's a pixel I set up earlier that is already tracking data on my site. To set up a new pixel, head to the green plus sign in the left menu and click Connect Data Sources. It will ask you which source you would like to set up for. We'll click Web as we will be setting up on a website. And you'll need to select Facebook Pixel. You need to enter a name for your pixel. I'll call mine test for now, but you should name yours something memorable. You do not need to enter anything for check your website for easy setup options here. Click continue when you're ready. That will now be added to your data sources page. You now need to add this to your create website. To do so, click email instructions in the bottom right of the modal it will give you the details here. You'll need to copy this Facebook Pixel ID. Once you have this, you can close this down and head over to your Create website. From here, you'll need to go to your Content tab and click Site Information from the left-hand menu. There will be a tab with the Facebook Pixel details here. Simply paste the code you took from Facebook and save changes. Once you publish your website, this will now be live and tracking your website visitors. And that's all there is to it. Your Facebook pixel will now be sending information from your Create website to your Facebook business manager. You'll be able to use this information in your campaigns for better targeting and optimization. There are four actions your pixel will be tracking by default for you if you're using Create. That's anytime someone views your content, adds an item to their basket, initiates the checkout, or makes a purchase on your website. Now, whenever you create a campaign, you can set it up to tell Facebook, for example, that you want to target an ad at people who didn't complete the checkout, or to reach more people like the people who have completed the purchase. You can set your pixel up to track other actions that are important to you using standard events, which we'll cover another time. If you'd like to stay notified, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you found this video helpful, we'd certainly appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.